Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the next issues of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. This should be the next four issues in the subscription service, which costs £7.99 per week. Essentially, it's costing you £32 of your hobby money every month. Um, if you've already got these models, it might not be worth it, but if you want a larger Primaris Space Marine army, if you want a larger Death Guard army, um, then they're still very good value. And at the moment, they're your only chance of getting uh, an exclusive model, uh, you know, uh, Lieutenant Calcius. Um, but anyway, this should be issues 11, 12, 13 and 14. 11 should be the aggressors, 12 should be the, the foul blight spawn, 13 should be uh, the crates, um, you know, the, the cargo containers, and 14 I think it's uh, got a dry brush and um, a 12 milliliter Mechanicus uh, grey paint. Um, dry brushes are very useful though. And then I think uh, Conquest will catch up with me and uh, I'll get 15, 16, 17 and 18. And 16 is particularly interesting because you get two intercessors, one Inceptor and uh, two um, Hell Blasters. So that's going to be interesting. I think 21 you get some Reavers again, which does suck a bit. But at least 19 you get uh, Veltheus. Felthius and the Cohort, which are basically um, Death Guard Terminators. You can go on Hachette Partworks um, website and have a look at the uh, issues. If you don't live uh, in the UK, Australia and South Africa, I think you can buy those issues separately off Hachette Partworks uh, site. I think the subscription is only available in those countries. I don't know why, it just is. I have this subscription, I pay for it like everybody else. They're not sending me these for free to promote, uh, but my channel is about Warhammer 40,000, and so I'll, I'll unbox and review everything that I can get my hands on. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, open this. Uh, believe it or not, all of these are sent second class, um, despite uh, you, know, you having a direct debit and uh, all the rest of it. <clears throat> They're sent from Jarrow, uh, which is Newcastle way. Um, look so there's your gray paint and your dry brush it's quite pricey really uh, eight pound for a paint and a dry brush um, the paint is two pound fifty the dry brush is what two pound fifty or three pound I'm not quite sure games which I might be charging five pound for them but um, that's probably the weakest issue in the in this set um, so that's 14 this is 13 and you get some brown crates and barrels. We'll go through all of these uh, individually, of course. Then you also get a painting handle. Now these are pretty good, um, except it shows, except it shows uh, the Lord of Contagion, I think, and it doesn't quite fit a Lord of Contagion. I don't think it fits a 40 mil base on, um, but there you go. That's the painting handle. We'll, we'll unbox that and, and look at it individually. Uh, this issue here has got the uh, Foul Blight Spawn and a Range Ruler, that's pretty good. Um, considering that model there is, what, £15 I think? And then finally, you've got this set of Aggressors. Now these are just the easy to build ones with the um, uh, Flamers, and that's it. The Flamers and the sort of Power Fist type weapons. Um, you don't get the Rocket Pods on the back or, or anything like that. Um, so this is my unboxing and first look at actually issue 11 because uh, I like to unwrap all of these um, you know individually so this will be 11 that's what you've you've come here for to see me um, unwrap what's in the title now these easy to build primaris aggressors are actually 20 pounds believe it or not for this sprue so seven pounds 99 yes you're already saving 12 pounds if you haven't bought these uh, easy to build aggressors. If you wanna buy the full kit with the bolt storm cannons uh, and the rocket pods, uh, that's gonna cost you 30 pounds. Um, so if you're just after aggressors, and I think these aren't the best because there's no way of deep striking them, um, you can't put them in a land raider, anything like that. They're gonna be difficult to you know slog through the battlefield and uh, get to their, their intended target. I much prefer Centurions um, because of their wounds, because of their toughness. Uh, 
I think they're save as well as a two plus and not a three plus like these guys. Anyway, so you get your three bases with the holes already um, drilled out, punched out. This is a sprue. Let's have a look at this bad boy first of all. Um, hopefully you can see that. It's in the blue plastic, uh, like all of the Space Marine Primaris um, models in this uh, collection are. Um, you can see there you've got the fists, you've got the connecting hoses for the um, flamers, you've got the big boots, this big Gravis armor, you've got the uh, helmets. You don't get them helmetless. You get these extra things here which go on the, the base, which is really cool. It doesn't show them on here. Um, but you can put them on the on the base. It's kind of like uh, three bits of, of scenery. I'm not sure whether I put them on mine. I think I did. I can't really remember. I'm going to have to look at my uh, unboxing um, just to find out. Because if I did, there's not really any point in me putting them on um, these, I don't think. Anyway, uh, so you get your three heads. You get all your fists and your torsos. Um, they're going to go exactly the same as these. Mm, no room for modification as such. <clears throat> I suppose you could cut some of the ridges off and uh, move their heads a little bit, um, but everything's going to go uh, in exactly the same place. The cutouts um, and the plugs and the sockets are one way only. Um, I suppose you could get a knife and sort of make the hole bigger or drill it and then you can move the arms a little bit but remember the arms are going to be attached specifically to the hoses and the power packs um, so I just want to give you as many tips as possible in terms of you know kind of customization um, for these models they're going to be very static okay let's have a look at the magazine itself then so Space Marine Aggressors is the first time we see the Aggressors in the um, subscription uh, clad in heavy Gravis armor, aggressors advance on their enemies like walking fortresses. Um, there you go, a little bit about Gravis armor. Warzone Ultramar, the March of Plagues, deadlocked, a brother reignited. Interesting. Uh, aggressors, how to build them. So we're getting a bit complex now because look, we've got three pages uh, just for the three uh, models. How to paint aggressors. These are the paints that you have got so far in your collection. And it just goes through all of these. They're looking quite decent now. Um, you know, you're missing the red for the eyes still. But Fire and Fury, rules update, automatic hits. Look at that. Brilliant. That looks really, really awesome, actually. Um, just flaming all of the uh, enemies of mankind. And there you go. And then a little bit of an advert and it just shows you issue 12 and 13. 12 is the uh, blight spawn and 13 are these crates. I think I'm gonna, gonna, gonna put the guns on, on these crates. I didn't on the ones that I first originally got, um, but I will do for these, I think, the storm bolters. They look pretty cool. Okay, so that's the f unboxing and first look at, uh, well, all the other issues and, you know, in particular, um, issue number 11. What I'll do is I'll go away and um, easily build the three aggressors. Uh, I might even compare them to the other uh, easy to build aggressors and the normal kit um, just for comparison's sake and uh, get you a re review video out as soon as possible. Anyway, hope you do enjoy the rest of these uh, conquest uh, videos. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.